You know those experiences that you try and tell, but no matter how you tell it, it just sounds fake? Today's one of those days. For the first time, it's actually sunny. Today's gonna be a good day. Not even gonna lie, I think that was the best sleep of my entire life. Today is gonna be an interesting one. We're climbing an active volcano and we're heading to Sapporo. Welcome to Japan in Van episode two. Okay, looks like this is it, but the road is closed. So, I guess we're walking. I think this is like our first big adventure on our trip so far. To start out episode two, we are climbing an active volcano called Mount Tarume. Once again, do I know what I'm doing? Absolutely not. Am I nervous? Hell yes. we made the trailhead but uh small teeny teeny issue here um take a look at my boots and uh the trail is snow Fuck. well i'm already here right might as well just we're just gonna send we're gonna full send oh hey look maybe it's just right here i don't know we'll find out First things first, we gotta sign in. This is crazy. Okay, USA. Any other USAs? Nope, just me, solo. Oh look, here's a map. Oh, and a bell, bear bell. Okay, map and bear bell. Let's put this stuff on actually. You'll never know if you don't try, right? We're signed in. Let's start climbing the volcano. Okay, I'm hoping I follow these steps up. Hopefully there's not as much snow, but you know, these boots are actually kind of good. Shit. Look at that. Oh my god. That's insane. Small victories. Well, I'm gonna be honest. Despite my best efforts, there's absolutely no trail. It's all snow. I am not prepared for this. I think we're gonna have to take the L on this one. Zip! 
with a butt because this is a pretty amazing view here. Still a little bit too much snow on the mountain for me to get all the way to the top, but I'd rather probably be safe than uh, try and climb this mountain up in the snow. It's prob probably a bad idea. <laughs> like I always say, celebrate the small victories. We may not have been prepared to make it all the way to the top, but we got a pretty damn awesome viewpoint here. So, Mount Tadume is an active volcano that's located on the shores of Lake Shikotsu in western Hokkaido, which you're looking at right there. It was actually kind of perfect because Mount Tadume was on the way to where we're ultimately going today, which is Sapporo. Now, of course, we would have liked to actually make it to the summit because if you can if you can make it to the top, you get to see the active lava dome, which would have been sick, but of course, dies. Well, now I guess I know to add snow spikes to my hiking arsenal. <laughs> I still count that as a success in my book. Made it as far as we could and it was absolutely beautiful. Okay, so like I said, now we head to Sapporo. So Sapporo is, so here we are and we had to drive all the way to Sapporo. Now, what am I gonna do in Sapporo? I haven't gotten that far yet. So let's just drive and figure it out. Tolls wreck you in Japan. They have great roads. It was actually a pretty nice change of pace heading into Sapporo. As you can see, there's a lot more civilization, more buildings, things to do, PAs that are off of the expressway, and even some cool cars. Unfortunately, unfortunately, since I was driving so much, I couldn't catch all the cool cars, but Sapporo has a really great car community. Quick Combini pit stop. It's already pretty late in the day, almost two o'clock. So figured we get a quick lunch from the Combini and then we're actually gonna hit the largest shrine in Hokkaido, which is here in Sapporo. It's gonna be beautiful. I'm super excited. The first really big shrine on our trip. I think this one's gonna be really good. So we're about 10 minutes away from the shrine. Let's grab some lunch and go check it out. Figured we take complete advantage of having this van neat in the back. I am absolutely starving after that hike, so I can also pound a little boss, wake up a little bit. Actually, uh, on the way here, found out that our campsite for tonight was canceled because the owners of the campsite don't want foreigners there that aren't with a Japanese person. So I did run into that. Gonna have to figure that one out, but worst case, we can always sleep at a PA in the parking lot. Tonight, we're gonna try and find some good food here in Sapporo, but for now, I'm way too hungry. Eat the ducky moss, come on. All right, and Continue for three kilometers. we're back. Let's find this shrine. Actually, the, the the hard part here is gonna be finding where in the hell to park this big ass van. Boom. Okay, this looks absolutely gorgeous. Check it out. Ugh. We're gonna be going there. Looks like we either just missed the cherry blossom bloom or they're about to bloom. 
absolutely beautiful. Wow. Luckily, here in Hokkaido, the cherry blossoms bloom a little bit later than the Tokyo region, so I was lucky enough to catch them. It's actually pretty difficult to catch these when they bloom because for such a short time. I'm sure when this is in like prime time blooming period, this entire walkway is just covered in pink. Okay, now for what we actually came here for, Hokkaido Jingu Shrine. I believe that this is the biggest shrine here in Hokkaido. As you can probably tell, this is one of the best places to view cherry blossoms in Hokkaido. Always so refreshing. That was absolutely beautiful. Stumble across this insane cherry blossom garden. Look at this. I've never had the chance to see cherry blossoms before and they are absolutely stunning. Oh my God, they're everywhere. We have a little bit of extra time. We're taking a little bit out to do a couple business things. And one thing I really want to show you guys is the new Legends collection that we have coming out, all based around Japan and a van, which which I think is so sick. So sick. It has our van and all of our stops that we made or that we're going to make through through the entire Japan and a van trip. So this will be available, I think, next week for you guys. But uh, I figured I'd pull this guy. Look at the front. The front is so good. I figured I'd pull this out right now and get some shots with the cherry blossom since we're here. trip has just been full of insane experiences. Seeing cherry blossoms for the first time, unreal. I do have good news. I found a new campsite and it even looks a little bit sicker. I'm super excited about it. So it's actually pretty early. I want to get an early dinner tonight because, because I am camping. I want to get there when it's not too dark. I'm gonna try and get to dinner around five o'clock, 4.45, five o'clock, like I said early dinner. Um, but we're gonna to go to the Sapporo Beer Garden. Sounds pretty cool. I figured we go check out some Sapporo beer while we're here in Sapporo and then head to our campsite. All right, again, let's head to the beer garden a little bit early because I always forget we have a van the size of three cars here. So let's go make sure we can find parking in downtown Sapporo. Ooh. Head west toward Bay 1 TL. All right, our last and final stop for the day, the beer garden, which should be pretty sick. All right, so we have a pretty interesting dish here. First of all, Sapporo beer and Sapporo, but I wanna go ahead and start cooking this meat 
interesting dish here. We have lamb Genghis Khan. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna use the tongs here. This is actually a block of fat. And we're gonna grease, oh yeah, we're gonna grease the pan here. So this is actually a very specialty dish in Hokkaido. So gotta get it while I'm here. So we're gonna grease the pan here, the veggies along the outside. Now we can take the very thin sliced lamb and put it right in the center. We've got an incredible dinner. Oh, I'm so stoked for this. Come by. I'm so happy right now. Dip it in the sauce. What is even happening? That was incredible. But now, before it gets too dark, let's head to our campsite for the night. Continue on Bay On this episode of What Stupid Thing Did Dustin Do? Dustin drove a two-wheel drive van in the sand. I got a beach campsite without knowing this van is two-wheel drive and not four-wheel drive. So Dustin is now stuck. Also, it's off-season. There's not a single soul here. I'm in the middle of absolute nowhere on the beach, absolutely screwed. I didn't think I could top the blown tire. This tops the blown tire. It's supposed to be camping right here. This is the spot right here. This is the van. Idiot. I don't know on how some sort of miracle these yeah, three guys <laughs> stumbled across me and are helping me out and they actually called a tow truck for me to hopefully try and get this out and they're gonna be waiting with me so <laughs> Oh my god, this is the worst. <laughs> Showing them my channel. Oh, 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 I have no idea where in the hell they came from, but thank you, universe. I have no idea. I feel so stupid. Oh my god. I can't believe they just walked off the beach and saw me and were so nice and called a tow truck for me. Now we just gotta just gotta wait for the tow truck. I am such an idiot. Well, as bad as this blows, we can only just make the best out of it. So, got the camp lights up, got my little chair, and we're just, and we're just gonna wait for the tow truck. Son of a Where is it? No! <laughs> for me? Are you sure? Oh, I got the good <laughs> high hugs. Hot tea. Hot tea. Hot tea. green tea. Oh, you guys got me to... Oh, Why are you so nice? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, they got me snacks and hot coffee. Oh, I got the oh, 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 oh. Uh, so for you, I have... Sticko? Hi, oh, hi, hi. Oh. Hi. Oh. 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 hi, Legends. Oh, my, oh. my brand. Oh, it's good. Brand. Hi, hi. <laughs> This is one of those experiences that you just really can't put into words or explain the feeling, I guess. I mean, 
I was stranded. There was nobody out here and just some way, somehow, whatever, these three guys come out of the beach and are just so kind and friendly and offer to help me and then bring me hot tea because it's cold as hell outside. I mean, I don't know if that's the universe trying to tell me something, but I'm listening. Like I said in the last video, anything that can happen will happen, and it's definitely happening. This trip was all about getting experiences and going on an adventure, and through these two days, this is more experience and more adventure than I've ever had in my entire life. And I just met three great new friends, and despite a massive language barrier, they hang out. They hung out with me for two hours while we waited for this tow truck driver. I mean, again, even when I hear myself explain it, it still just doesn't and doesn't do the actual experience justice. ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
there's no words to to explain or express this. Wow. I know how ridiculous this series of events sounds right now, but literally across from the parking lot where I just got stuck, there is an onsen. I could just take a bath tonight. And before I compile my thoughts for this video, I wanna go do that and then we'll get the van set up in just a bit. Just when I thought I could get lucky, I have tattoos. And as soon as they saw my fingers, he said, nope. Now it's not as bad as it was back then, but and in some public hot spring baths, they don't allow you to get in with tattoos. And unfortunately, since I am pretty much in the middle of nowhere, um, it is one of those times when they didn't let me in. So no shower for us tonight, but we'll try and figure it out tomorrow. Um, but what we do have to figure out is, let's set up our bed. All right, are you guys ready for how sick this is? Ha ha, we got light. So I bought this little solar powered light thing and it's actually freaking sick. It lights up the entire van. So what we can do now is this thing doesn't have to use any battery. Check this out. <laughs> this is insane. So damn. All right. Ooh. Before we settle in, this is the campsite for the night probably see it better tomorrow morning but uh this is what we got set up we of course got the lights which is probably like my favorite part we have my sleeping bag we have a sleeping bag pad here which is what i use for camping but i figured it'd be nice to have it on this and then we also have a nice warm wool blanket here because i'm sure it's gonna get pretty freaking freezing tonight so i think uh <laughs> I think we're all set. This is nuts. This is insane. Okay, here's a little inside view of our camp for tonight. We got string lights, my bed. This is gonna be my editing station for tonight. Unfortunately, since our RV camp got canceled, I don't have direct power to the van, so I can't plug any of my stuff in. But I also have two portable lights, which are absolutely incredible. Everything lights up this entire van perfectly. So I'm gonna do some work and then we are gonna try and get as much rest as we possibly can. Quick update, I'm going to sleep now, but before I do, really quickly, I want to reiterate and let's think about this right now. What happened tonight? Think about the sequence of events. My campsite gets canceled this morning. I find a new campsite. I come to this campsite, the van gets stuck, and I'm stranded. 30 minutes later, three random people show up and offer to help me and are some of the nicest people that I've ever met in my entire life. They brought me snacks and hot tea. And then the tow truck driver comes and turns out he's another GTR owner that runs tow gang. Think about what I just said. That story is fake. That sounds made up, but it literally happened and it was one of the coolest things that's ever happened to me. I wanted an adventure and I've got the adventure. Tomorrow's a new day. Hopefully not a new day of, knock on wood, another issue, but uh, it's gonna be another adventure no matter what. And we're gonna overcome whatever obstacles ahead of us. I can't believe I just said that. That's that's this trip doing its job for me. We're going to get some sleep. If you guys have not already, make sure you're subscribed to stay tuned with the rest of the series and just for everything else. Leave me a like and leave me a comment down below. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.